RTE has reiterated its commitment to reducing the pay of its top presenters. The pledge came as the broadcaster published a list of the top 10 on-air earners for 2022. Ryan Tuberty, who has since left RTE, topped the list, receiving €515,000 that year. The earnings of RTE's highest paid broadcasters has been in focus since the payments controversy at the station began last year. And today the organisation revealed the top 10 earners for 2022. Top of the list is Ryan Tuberty, who received €515,000. That figure was the same as the figure for 2021, which was restated after it emerged last June that RTE had paid Mr Tuberty €75,000 more than it had publicly disclosed. Remaining in second place on the list is Liveline presenter Joe Duffy, who was paid €351,000, the same as a year earlier, while Claire Byrne, whose current affairs TV show ended in May of 2022, saw her earnings that year fall to nearly £321,000 from the year before. Primetime and radio presenter Miriam O'Callaghan moved up to fourth on the list, earning an unchanged €263,000, while Radio 1's Ray Darcy went down one place as his earnings dropped to €250,000. don't quite say that 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 After that, there are no changes in the rankings, with weekend radio host Brendan O'Connor continuing to earn €245,000, while News at One presenter Brian Dobson received over 209000 up slightly on the previous year. Morning Ireland's Mary Wilson's pay also rose a little to over €197,000. Sports broadcaster Dara Maloney also received slightly more at 184000 And in 10th place remains environment correspondent George Lee, whose pay increased a small amount to just under 180000 Euro. RTE has already committed to reducing what it pays its most highly paid broadcasters into the future and has pledged that nobody will earn more than the Director General, whose current basic salary is €250,000 a year. But the publication of these latest figures is likely to feed into debate about a future funding model for RTE amid reports of a split within government on the issue. We will sort out that funding arrangement. We have to this first half of this year. The exact mechanism, I've always said, is subject to debate in Cabinet. But having a solution is the first absolute requirement. And I'm convinced government, all three parties, will work together to deliver that. But with a number of further reports about RTE's governance due to be published in the coming weeks, the spotlight looks set to remain on pay and future funding. Will Goodbody RTE News.